Most of us don't go to work intending to get injured. Yet, the attitudes we bring to work on any day can have a large influence on our safety outcomes. You see, the way we think about safety, our attitudes, will influence our decisions and working behaviours. And it is these actions that can then influence how likely we are to be involved in a workplace incident. We call this the Attitude Behaviour Results Model, or ABR for short. Consider the following scenario. Mark and Sean attend their daily pre-start and are assigned to a routine task they've both completed many times before. Soon after commencing the job, Mark looks up and watches as Sean takes off his gloves. Wearing gloves is an agreed safety requirement for the task. Mark asks Sean, is there a problem with your gloves? Sean replies, they just get in the way and it's easier without them. Even though Mark agrees that the gloves can get in the way, he understands why they're required on this job and he doesn't want to hurt his hands. Mark tries to convince Sean to put his gloves back on, but Sean refuses. A short time later, there is an unexpected movement which shakes the equipment they are working on. Mark looks up startled and checks himself. He seems to be okay. He looks over at Sean, who is rubbing one of his hands. Sean has a small cut to his hand. Mark asks if he is okay. Sean says it's no big deal and continues to work through the shift. After a few days, Sean notices that the wound has not healed. The pain has been getting worse and now he's not feeling very well at all. He takes himself to the local emergency department and is diagnosed with sepsis, a potentially life-threatening infection. After two months of treatment and sick leave, Sean is finally back at work. Both Sean and Mark had the goal of going home uninjured that day, but their attitude towards that goal was very different. Mark's attitude was, I choose to do things the right way because I don't want to get hurt. His behavior was to wear his gloves, even though it made the job take longer. And as a result, when the incident occurred, his gloves protected him from injury. In contrast, Sean's attitude was, I just want to get the job done in the easiest possible way. His behavior was to remove his gloves, and we know what result Sean got. A different mindset could have made a big difference for Sean that day. We all have the ability to take control of the results we achieve in life, at work, and at home by taking control of our thinking, our attitudes. Are your attitudes towards safety driving the results you want to get?